Well, this isn't just another developer event. This is Google's declaration that India is not just a market. It's actually the launch pad of its global AI dominance. In just 12 months, Google has done what no other tech giant has, given free Gemini Pro access to 10,000 plus Indian startups, opened up 19,500 rupees AI Pro subscriptions for free to Indian students, teased Gemini powered maps, search and Android features tailored for India. And now it's pulling back the curtains at Google I.O. Connect 2025, where else but in Bengaluru. So let's break down the predictions, leaks and confirmed drops. Why this I.O. Connect could change everything. Students over 18 now get free access to Gemini 2.5 Pro with its features like benchmark leader in math, logic, coding. Notebook LM with five times more usage, VO3 for AI generated video, 2TB cloud storage and Google's new flow interface for creativity. Stat check. India has over 40 million college students the largest higher education population in the world. This is how Google trains the next AI native workforce. Based on insider developer forum chatter and Firebase documentation updates, we expect this. Zero cost Gemini API tiers for Indian developers, 2 million plus token limit for small teams, integration with Google AI Studio and Project IDX. The move is designed to, well, pretty much undercut OpenAI's $20 a month GPT-4 plans and make Gemini the default in Indian application development. With over 400 million Android users in India, expect Google to showcase this. Gemini Nano running on entry-level Androids, on-device translation, summarization and offline assistant features, early access partners, Lava, Micromax, and Google's own Android One. Why does this matter? Well, that's because it's going to bring us less latency, more privacy, no cloud costs. And to actually top it all, Google Pixel is proudly being manufactured in India. Google will likely launch AI agents for bug detection, test generation, UI testing, CI, CD, automation. These will pretty much be bundled inside Firebase. Check recent AI dashboard updates. Project IDX, now in public beta. What does the developer chatter say? This is what it is. These agents are already in internal testing under the code name Oscar Gemini. Sounds like very ominous with rollout expected across Android and web SDKs. Multilingual push, Gemini in 30 plus Indian languages from Maithili to Manipuri. Google is expected to add these support in Gemini app voice, input enhancements, search plus lens upgrades in rural languages, all powered by Indic Genbench and Project Bani. The phase two is this, now trained on 14,000 plus hours of speech from 160 districts, this will be Google's biggest NLP advantage over Meta and OpenAI in India. Gemini for Enterprise is expected to include these facets. Assistants that summarize customer queries, auto-generate emails from meeting notes, internal knowledge agents using RAG, Retrieval Augmented Generation. Partners, well, the partners in this little brilliance is Zoho, Misho and early pilot customers across BFSI. Gemini already has 1 million active users on workspace in India and that number is only growing. 40% quarter on quarter. Google's pushing hard to own India's digital commerce infrastructure. So what do we expect? We expect up to 70% drop in map API prices, ONDC specific developer bundles with maps, payments and Gemini integrations. Why is that the question? Well, the answer is 
ONDC is powering 80k plus local sellers. Google wants to be the invisible layer behind logistics, mobility and commerce. VO3, Google's answer to Sora, is expected to get this. An India-specific creator launch, Gemini app, integration for short-form video, YouTube Shorts, AI Remix features. The insider leaks suggest creator collaborations with Tanmay Bhatt, Prajakta Kohli and animation studios like Green Gold. They are the ones who actually made Chota Bheem. But here's where Google actually wins. Student adoption. 95% of Indian students using Gemini report confidence boost. Developer ecosystem. Here's the next big one. Gemini API usage in India is five times higher than a year ago. Government collaboration. Gemini-based tools are being tested for education, agriculture and policy bots with Meti and Bhashini. Gemini isn't just an AI app. It's actually the operating system of Indian AI. And that's why IO Connect 2025 isn't just another conference. It's actually Google's way of reminding India we are just getting started. Now, what are the tools to watch out for at IO Connect? Here they are. GenKit for Go and Dart, already production ready. Project IDX, already in public beta plus mobile support. Gemini in Android Studio. Gemma 2 for fine tuning, Indian LLMs. AI Safety Toolkit for prompt testing and guardrails. And last but not the least, Google has recently introduced Gemini CLI, an open source AI agent. This is how Google builds the operating system of Indian AI. And all of this will unfold at the details that we have mentioned. And here's the best part. AIM TV is going live tomorrow, yes, from the venue, where we're going to have our brilliant reporter Vandana, who's going to be checking out all the details on ground and giving us the BuzzFeed as the event unfolds. The keynotes, the demo zones, developer talks, interviews with India's top builders. Please watch this space because it's going to be massive and exciting. This is Front Page by AIM TV. Like, share, subscribe. Think AI. Think AIM.